Hi, Pam. This is Bugs and Rug, Chris. And Snark had a wonderful um, idea to make a make vids for you while you're recuperating. And you can listen to our stories. I have a Christmassy sort of story. Um, when I was about seven years old, Christmas morning, so that would be 1957, and the rule of thumb uh, at Christmas at our house was that we had to wait before we could go into the living room and to open our presents. We had to open our sock first in our bedroom and then we could go into our parents room and try and wake up my dad <laughs> who put this act on every year. We had to wait till dad opened his sock and dad would make this uh, tedious task that seemed to take forever and he would go one item at a time and inspect it thoroughly. If he got an apple, he would see how shiny it was. If there was an orange in his sock, he'd have to smell the orange, feel the texture, and comment on this orange for like five minutes. And it went on like this for every single item in his sock till we were just my sister and I were just ready to bounce off the walls to get to the presence in the living room I sure miss that it really bugged me back then when I was a child but oh man if I could relive one of those Christmas mornings again so anyways by the time we got to the living room we were just so excited we were almost wetting our pants <laughs> and this one Christmas morning I couldn't believe what Santa had left me I had wanted so much a little card table and chairs for my bedroom so that I could sit and color and whatever do my cutouts remember the old cutouts I talked about that before anyway there was this beautiful little folding card table and chairs and uh, presents from mom and dad were on top of this table and after all the presents were opened off of the top of my little table <clears throat> um, it revealed that the top of the table was vinyl and so that you could wash it off and it had all the nursery uh, nursery rhyme characters uh, painted on it like Jack and Jill and uh, Old Mother Hubbard and uh, oh, all the different nursery rhymes were around the outside of this vinyl topping and the chair the metal of the chairs were I remember were painted bright shiny red and the legs of the folding table were red as well and the trim was the red metal and I just love this table and chair set. I was so happy to have my girlfriends come over when I was little and we could sit at the table and do cutouts or or color in our coloring books. And well, one day I was doing my little nails with nail polish and that on my table and I was using the nail polish remover. Now I, I know it wasn't my own so it had to have either been my sister's or my mom's and I probably was using it without permission <laughs> knowing me but uh, I accidentally tipped over the nail polish remover onto my good little table being a child I never I never thought but I grabbed uh, I don't know a towel or something to wipe this up quickly and the nail polish remover smeared all my 
beautiful nursery rhyme characters faces all over the table it was hideous <laughs> there was no way I could fix it in my little mind it was like maybe if I push the towel back the way it came that their faces would would go back the way they should look but no Jack and Jill it was like they had been in some kind of horrific fire or something I don't know what but they they were just a mess and oh all the other ones too they were just smeared all over so I tried to wipe it up as best I could and let it dry and threw away the toweling and everything and you know uh, Pam what is really strange about this I don't ever recall my mum scolding me for that or even mentioning that she had seen a change in that tabletop that I had wanted for so long and loved so much. Um, and it was so obvious she must have seen it. Naturally, I tried to cover it with, you know, you think that, no, mum's never going to... I tried to cover it with my coloring books and that and dolls and things set them around so she couldn't see but naturally she must have seen it um, but being the sweetheart that she was she overlooked the fact that I had been a bad girl <laughs> so that's just a, a little story I wanted to share with you and I hope it uh, brought a smile and um, I just want you to get well soon. We miss you. Miss all your messages. And take your time to recoup. Have a wonderful Christmas. And we all love you. Talk to you soon.